Hey what up folks this is GK so two things had happened in the year 2022 end of the year 2022 so i had taken two exams from google cloud one on december 9th and the other one on december 23rd so i had passed one exam on december 9th professional cloud google professional google cloud architect and i had failed on 23rd which is devops pro so in this video i'm going to explain you the main reasons why i had failed the exam or the reasons behind failure and then i'm going to give you some topics that you should prepare if you are serious about the devops pro google cloud exam so full disclosure i had two free vouchers to register for two google cloud certifications so that's why i went for the professional cloud architect and as well as devops pro so i went into the exam very confident that i would pass without preparation in fact i hadn't revised any concepts or went into the topics I should have gone through the case studies at least once so that I could have saved the time during the exam but I hadn't done that as well. So where I had struggled for the professional cloud architect exam were the case studies. Uh, maybe I should have at least studied once but anyways I spent some time during the exam. It was a bit of struggle because it's a lengthy exam. Did it from home online proctored like I've said online proctored are sort of little bit tougher because you always have to worry about whether you are making some noise or you are speaking out if other person is watching at you so that was always there on my head but anyways i passed the exam and then after i had passed professional architect i was very confident that i would easily pass the devops pro in fact i was more confident about the devops pro than the professional cloud architect than the pc exam because i have been working as a devops engineer for a long time and then i had taken the aws devops pro i thought the concepts would be pretty much same the things would carry from there to here there might be some things related to the gcp like the services part or blue green deployments or some of those scenarios that i might face in the exam but i faced a lot of different things i mean lot of things which i felt like i deserve to fail this exam because the concepts which i hadn't prepared at all and then i was surprised to see those concepts in the exam so while i was taking the exam i also thought about creating this video whether i failed or i passed if i had passed the exam i would have created a video about how i had passed the devops pro exam but since i have failed i i'm creating this video that you know i have failed the exam and then whatever i'm trying to cover in this video or the concepts that i'm going to talk about in this video hopefully whenever you take the exam you will prepare well uh, so that you are not going to fail two reasons why i had failed the exam is pretty simple one overconfidence thinking that i can breeze through the exam without any effort and the second reason obviously is lack of preparation if i had spent at least revising some of the concepts sri concepts i would have easily passed the exam now let's talk about nine very important topics that you have to prepare for the devops pro exam without which it's going to be extremely difficult for you to pass so before i go into the nine topics so one thing that i can say that google should have renamed this exam as sre professional architect or google cloud sre certified professional architect or something because the exam was completely into sre at least whatever i have got 80 to maybe 70 80% of the questions were from sre concepts so now let's go into the concept one by one and the topic one by one whatever whatever i have got in the exam and things that you should prepare well the first topic is on sre post mortem so this at least um, so in this topic at least you have to prepare about how you would do a post mortem or what are the sre concepts that you have to go through while doing a post mortem whenever things went wrong in the production like let's say there was a outage in the production how would you do a post mortem from the sre world or using the sre concepts so that was one and lots of questions on the error budget and the topic probably i will cover error budget in one of my videos and then general debugging in production now devops pro or devops in general operational stuff is pretty common so the questions were about how would you debug in the production if there was an incident or how would you debug if uh, a service went down so that was another common pattern or lots of questions were on that and then the cloud build service that's a service to build your code and then do all the cicd stuff so there were i think one or two questions on that and then you have to be very well prepared on the gke especially how would you debug if there was a failure in the pod 
or how would you debug if there, if there was a failure in the node or uh, in general service? What are the things that you would do as a SR engineer to debug those things? So that was another question. And then the cloud monitoring obviously is important from the DevOps professional, from the DevOps side of things. Cloud monitoring is so important. So prepare well on the cloud monitoring side, especially on the dashboards. So how you would, how you would create a dashboard to monitor certain things, or let's say your service is on on-prem, how would you ship those logs from on-prem to, to the Google Cloud and then monitor at one place? So that was important from the cloud monitoring perspective. And then the IAM permissions for the cloud monitoring, specifically for, for the cloud monitoring. And the eighth one is scalability issues. And this, is, this makes sense and this is important. And the last one is on the CI-CD principles, which is expected in a DevOps Pro exam. But when I took the AWS DevOps Pro, the questions were more on the blue-green deployments and how would you deploy in the production, staging, what are the different scenarios that you would cover there. But in this exam, those scenarios or those questions were not asked. So the questions were more on the SRE. So if you prepare very well for the SRE concepts or if you prepare well, study the SRE stuff in the DevOps Pro tutorials or in the concepts in the in the documentation of the Google Cloud, then I think it will be very easier for you to pass the exam. Overall, these are the topics that were asked in the exam. Now, I hope that you've learned from my failure because failure would teach you more than the success. So that's why I was able to remember all these things. So learn these concepts and then most importantly, practice some of this stuff, especially the Cloud Build. I know most of you guys might not be using Cloud Build and most of the companies are actually not using Cloud Build. But unfortunately, you have to prepare when you are taking this uh, certification. And that's all I wanted to cover in this video, how I had failed or why I had failed the DevOps Pro Google Cloud. So that's all for this video. I wish you all a very happy new year. Thank you all for watching this video and thank you all for supporting my channel and thanks for being with me all this while throughout my journey. I wish you all again a very happy new year and thank you all. Take care, bye.